where are we? Hi, we are at the Reagan National Airport at the, um, the DC pop-up and we are here with Kemi from Little Likes Kids. Can you tell us a little bit more about your business? Uh, yes, so Little Likes Kids is a new boutique toy manufacturer. It's based here in uh, Washington, DC, of course. In any case, we are making puzzles, memory match games, um, all sorts of things for kids who are ages six and under. Fantastic. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the puzzles that are here today? All right, excellent. We have, uh, we'll start with a uh, sweet grass head basket. This was actually illustrated by a local artist. Her name is uh, Kelly Cox. And um, Kelly is uh, fantastic. And um, she's a mural artist. In any case, if you've ever seen any of the re recycling trucks that are wrapped with some artwork. Oh! Yes, the one with um, you know, the pink flowers. That's uh, Kelly's okay. work. Um, Fantastic. So in any case, uh, Kelly only works in botanicals and florals, and I was like, it's all right, we will find a way to work together. And we came up with this concept, it's called Sweetgrass Head Basket. Nice. And really, um, it sort of gets to the whole vision of the company. Uh, you know, all the products come from a very uh, culturally specific uh, place and are inspired by my time raising my son, uh, Henry. Henry. Um, but they are all those things that are... Um, you know, come from a very culturally specific place, but are meant to have universal appeal. Awesome. So this one is called Sweetgrass Head Basket. It's modeled on a pretty famous uh, picture of a woman walking down a North Carolina street circa 1909, carrying a head, sweetgrass head basket full of produce. And Kelly uh, did this for me, and it features all uh, annuals, edibles, and perennials you can find in and around the nation's capital. Awesome. So this is the one I'm most excited about being here at the airport. A little bit of a, a, a silver near. And, um, again represents the real, the real full vision for the company. I can imagine sort of doing this in communities, you know, all across the country and getting kids to think about, um, you know, the, the nature and the plant life mm -hmm. um, that's all around them and right there sort of, you know, in their neighborhoods and uh, in communities. So you said a little bit about vision for the company. Yes. So, <laughs> so can you say just a little bit more about what that is? Well, um, I would love Little Likes Kids to be on sort of just every shelf and anywhere um, you know any adult might be when they're looking to uh, buy a gift or a present or a treat um, for a young person. Um, so we uh, are manufacturing, again, based here in Washington, D.C., but we sell all across the country. Um, and um, you know, we go to trade shows and you know the whole, lot, whole nine. So we mostly sell through uh, retailers, but there are a few sort of uh, pop-ups like this one here. I do farmer's markets at Van Ness Main Street and the Petworth Community Market. Um, I do the only uh, farmer's market. I think I just signed up to do one at uh, Reston. I'll be at Kids Fest in Fairfax. Kids Fest. Yes, Kids Fest in Fairfax on October 5th and Excellent. 6th maybe. In any case, um, we're just sort of trying to get out there and let you know all the adults um, know that uh, you know we're here and we've got what I think are good uh, gifts and yeah, things for show kids. us some more of the games because you got a lot. Yes, right? this one um, I talk about being Ward Four proud and that's great. This is a um, splash pack uh, jumbo puzzle. It's actually modeled on Tacoma Splash Park, so everybody who's been out to Tacoma, you know the wonderful splash park there with the Daisy Sprayer and. Um, you know, this is just a scene. This is actually happens to be me and uh, my son oh, when we were awesome. younger. Yeah. When he was younger, and you know, the kids are out there, and at the mo at the time he was out there in his little uh, diaper. Uh, in any case, uh, so obviously the kind of scene you'll see there is very diverse, very multicultural, and very much um, a reality um, in uh, you know the, the world today. This one doesn't actually come from. Uh, my experience with uh, my son because he doesn't double dutch. I don't even know if he's even seen it. But in any case, I remember doing that. This is a front porch scene, and um, you know it's called uh, fun outside. You know you have girls double dutching, boys playing pickup basketball, lemonade stairs, someone getting her hair done on the front steps. And um, in any case, these are all jumbo puzzles. They mm -hmm. all come in a box with a rope handle. Oh, that handle's ha that handle's yes. handy. It is very handy for the kids, and they like carrying it around. Mm -hmm. And um, we really um, are doing the uh, puzzles and games to a high level of quality, mm -hmm. um, because you know, in addition to just trying to put out sort of more diverse and representative products to represent the, the kids who are, in fact, of that uh, demographic, um, I also want to make sure that everything is really nice and really high quality. Mm -hmm. So we print on both sides. These are extra thick, sturdy pieces. Yeah and they can uh, you know, stand up to your kids. 
use, mm -hmm. but you know, also in an environment where they might be, you know, being used in a classroom or a daycare center, you know, mm -hmm. multiple times a day by multiple people. Yeah. There are more local scenes like mm -hmm. Midtown Barber on 100 block of uh, Kennedy Street. Oh, from Kennedy Street specifically. Yes. You said Ward 4 Proud, right? Ward, I mean, I mean, that's our whole life is there. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> so. Um, so this is Midtown Barber, and um, you know it's all the sort of scenes and things you'd see um, at the barber shop. You know, a little price list, the style guide. You know, there's always news and sports on the TV, and magazines and clippers, and you know this is a really fun thing. That's and so awesome. um, we have musical Crossroads, um, which is uh, features all sort of genres of music and musical instruments and. So we'll teach kids, um, you know, all about that. Mm -hmm. And I guess I did bring so that we don't run out of time. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our Santa puzzle. Uh -oh. This is uh, new. I had a calendar uh, last season, and now we've got um, a puzzle, 48-piece puzzle. It says here for kids ages four up, but I've had a number of uh, people tell me at the farmers markets and things that their kids probably are starting on this size, anywhere from maybe two and a half and mm -hmm. uh, older. And, um, but you know, being a mom of a little boy, I think we were about four by the time we got to this. But if you have a crafty little child, um, actually, this, this, there's a little crafty boy out there, he's three years old. Um, mm -hmm. his mom is a sister of one of the former, one oh. of the makers here. Oh, hey. Um, and uh, she's probably dying for me to remember, but she's one of the newer people. Yeah. And she is, um, that's right, because there are a bunch the of makers here. Yeah, there are a bunch of makers here. In any case, um, uh, lots of folks are helping me spread the word and I'm um, learning a lot about how the kids are reacting to the products and um, what they like and where they'd like me to go. Excellent. Yes. So um, just remind us again real quick, where can folks buy your products? We, um, well, they can go to, uh, you know, my Instagram page, which will probably be linked to this and go to the link and um, I have an Etsy shop so mm -hmm. you can f find me on Etsy. Um, many of the products are on Amazon, but they keep selling out of Amazon. So, for instance, Splash Park is currently sold out um, mm. online. Okay. But it's all good. But um, you can get it here at the airport. You can get it here at the DCA, pre-check-in, free parking mm -hmm. even, I think, for the first hour. Hey. And um, we're at um, Politics and Prose. We're yes. at Steadfast Supply. I love Virginia. She's been so good uh, to me as an early adapter. And um, Labyrinth, Puzzles and Games in Capitol okay. Hill. Yeah. Uh, Fair Day's Play in Tacoma. Uh, there are so many places. Sullivan's um, on Wisconsin Avenue, mm -hmm. uh, just north of, uh, you know, it's in Tenley Town. Um, Child's Play. Yep. Um, so if you think about this company, um, there were people who really encouraged me and sort of mentored me and helped me sort of get going here. And mm -hmm. Simi, who's one of the owners of Child's Play on mm -hmm. Connecticut. Um, I think they have shops maybe in North Bethesda and in Virginia too, mm -hmm. but you know, I just came in with sort of my ideas and mm -hmm. sort of what I wanted to do and um, she encouraged it. She made sure I was um, linked in with um, Astra, which is a specialty toy uh, retailer association and um, you know, just helped connect me with people. And um, you know, again, we're we're here locally. You can find us in a lot of places, Tudor Place in Georgetown. Okay. Um, Little likes kids. Little likes kids. Kimmy, thank yes. you so much. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll be back next week.